here with Cohesive Solutions. I wanted to provide an overview demonstration for those that are new to Maximo and just starting in with the product. So the first thing that you're given is uh, when you hit the URL that your system administrator has uh, provided is a login screen. So you put your username and password and then that sets what you're able to see and do inside the system. When you uh, go there, the next thing you'll see is the Start Center, if your system's been set up uh, to pre present such a Start Center. So this Start Center is basically your go-to place. It has all the things on it that you need to do to get your job done. It's While it can be done to the, to the individual, it's generally set up by role. So a work technician, a buyer, a, a spare parts or a, a warehouse manager would have their version of a Start Center. So uh, to get around the Start Center, you have these various portlets that uh, can be placed there for you. The favorite applications, these would be things that you go to all the time. Maybe a place for quick inserts. So if you want to add a labor report or insert a new work order, those things are there uh, for you. KPIs, uh, a list of KPIs and graphs, these are all just various options that can be put on your Start Center. A bulletin board, a work uh, flow inbox, so when you get assignments, either for work orders or for purchase orders that need to be approved, those can flow not only to your email, but also to the inbox inside Maximo. And then here, for example, is a, is a list of uh, work orders that are of interest to me, the ones that I'm waiting, uh, that are waiting approval, some that are approved, and I can see these in list view, or in a chart view, and that can be a bar chart or a pie chart, as demonstrated here. Right, and um, uh, over on um, this side, you have what's called your left-hand navigation. So, uh, based on oh, your role in the company and what applications that you need access to, this would be where your security setup uh, provides you. Um, access to certain applications that you need to do your job. Uh, now, those can be uh, retrieved on this left hand navigation menu or on this go to menu, which somebody, some people refer to as the hamburger menu. So when you pull this down, you'll get a variety of options that are tailored for your uh, use within the system. Okay? Um, if you navigate to an application, say like assets, and now you're, say, in this application and you go into an asset and you're looking at that and then you want to go back to the start center that's easily accomplished just by hitting the the house up here the home button and that returns you back to your start center to log off the system here's your sign out button right here it just takes you back to the login screen so I'll go ahead and sign in again which will take me right back to the same start center that we had just a second ago and by the way, that login uh, can be optional. Um, some folks set it up to where when you log into your Windows machine, it automatically grants you access because it already knows who you are. So when you hit your Maximo icon and go into Maximo, it just takes you right in there because it already knows who you are. So it, it basically self, <clears throat> excuse me, authenticates based on uh, your Windows login. So let's go into... Um, an application. So let's just go into assets. So uh, I, I can go a variety of ways. I can go here and then hit assets. I can go up here and hit assets. Or I can just use this navigation, just type in the word asset, and it pulls up a list of everything that matches and then brings me right into the application. So <clears throat> coming in here, I first hit the uh, list uh, screen. So from here, if I hit a return, it shows me everything that I have access to at a particular site. In this case, the default site is called Bedford, and uh, I'm looking at everything for that site, which is 562 uh, assets. I'm looking at the first of 20.